What's going on everybody? My name's Derek and welcome to the Tiny Raptor Farm. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody having a good weekend. Now, you hear all the chickens running around me. Um, now, yesterday we had, I heard, had some bad news that one of our chickens, we'll have to find her, but one of our chickens, uh, had a big hole in the back of her head. I mean, a big hole too. And um, I didn't know, I didn't know where it is and I can't even find her now, but um, anyways, uh, I looked at her earlier this morning and it's pretty bad. Um, it don't look like, it don't look like another chicken did it because I, I seriously doubt another chicken did it, but like the whole side in the back of her head, like right here, it's almost like you took a knife and just like cut out the skin and the feathers right there. And like where you would, where you would see her skull or whatever right there, this, uh, I mean, of course it's caked up with, it's caked up with dirt and stuff. So, um, I'm pretty sure that if it's not infected yet, that it's probably going to get infected. So I'm going to have to find her and put her down. That's one of the, out of my video, dealing with death on the homestead, that's one of the, this is one of the th the things that pop up randomly that you'll have to deal with. And uh, it's very unfortunate. So let me go find her. I'm not gonna put her down on camera because I don't, I don't believe in, I, I don't believe in doing that. So um, I'm not gonna put her down on camera. Anyway, sorry, I was watching my, my main rooster chase one of the other roosters. Okay, anyway, let me go find her and I'll see if I can show you. I probably won't show you, but I just want to make sure I can find her. Oh, and uh, before any of y'all start screaming bird flu, it's not the bird flu. So don't even try that crap. Ain't no bird flu around here. I could promise you. Just an unfortunate event. So I'm got a hold of my chicken, tried to kill it, and now I got to put it down because it's probably got an infection. So I'm trying none of that bull crap. This ain't bird flu, so don't. Oh, also, I'm about to put my ducks down too because turn, turn you around where I can you see where you can see. Okay, see, look at him fighting already, but you can't really tell until he turns around. Well, anyways, yeah, that was sorry. That was just an unfortunate mishap on my part, my bad. But anyways, the they're at each other's necks. They're fighting it fighting for uh they're fighting for a female and both of them are missing feathers and getting scratched around her neck and and uh now these ducks as of this point are not serving any purpose to us anymore um other than the meat you know they should have been put down a while back but but in, but unfortunately you know we we kind of gave in and wanted to uh we fell in love with them but now just got to do it so i gotta put i'm gonna at least put the two males down today the, there's only two males out of that's a group of six so i'm gonna put those two down and the other chicken down today so i'm gonna have to do it unfortunately and again i'm not gonna film that because I just don't like putting that kind of stuff on on YouTube or on my channel, excuse me. So, it's a, it's a very unfortunate thing. So, the way I put my ducks down is, I you, you can't catch them even in that little cage. I mean, they'll, they freaking, they're, 
very, very good of evading you. So, um, so what I do when I put them down is I'll shoot them with a 22 in the head and it's pretty quick and easy. And that's the only way that I can do that. It, uh, but with a chicken, if I can find it, it's rare somewhere, but um, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna probably put it down like we can do normally, you know. But uh, anyway. Okay, so I found her. I don't know if you can tell very much, but that is pretty disgusting. And she's got some kind of, I'm almost positive she's got an infection or she's gonna get an infection. Look at that. So, yeah, it's, it's time to put her down. So let me get to that. I'm not gonna record it again, but I'm just gonna put her down and then we'll talk afterwards. Okay, well, now that I came back out here after, I can't find her. Let up. I just found her. She's over hiding from me. I think she knows. That makes it worse, man. Unfortunately. Okay, well, now in this case, I got her. But in this case, uh, I didn't want to try to grab her and... I don't know if she's got an infection or what, but um, anyways, I didn't want to grab her and, you know, put her in the cone and then I have to sanitize everything and then sanitize my hand and then take a chance on not sanitizing it right or something and then it catching an infection if she has one on the rest of the meat when we put other chickens down. So I'm not going to show you where I shot her because, you know, I just don't want to do that but anyways um like i said i'm not gonna eat this chicken because she has she may or may not have an infection but i don't want to take a chance on that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bury her so uh it's a very unfortunate side of a homestead so if you want a homestead you gotta prepare for this type of stuff and that's only one of three I got to put down today. So go do this one and go get the other two. Yeah, well, you got up there, you can get down. The ladder ain't tall enough. Well, guys, that's going to end the video. Wasn't very long, but I just wanted to prove to you that you never know what's going to happen on the homestead it's like that cat stuck in the tree three animals had to be put down because of unfortunate situations i didn't show none of them but just want to prove to you that things happen and you're never prepared for it and even though this time it wasn't too bad because i know it had to happen um I knew that it was better for the animals to be put down because they had they were going to get infections. But uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to share. And I love you, and I'll see you next time.